Now I'm going to show you how to bleed a radiator. Uh, it's quite a simple concept and you normally know when you need to bleed a radiator if it is warm at the bottom or hot at the bottom and cold at the top when your system is on and running. That usually means there's air trapped inside the radiator that needs to escape to allow the heat to come through or the rest of the water to come through to provide heat to your radiator. Um, the way of solving this is to bleed your radiator which is just letting the air out and letting the water in to the radiator. Now to do this you need to buy a radiator key. You can get these at any hardware shop, DIY shop, sometimes even supermarkets. They cost nothing really, they're like 50p. Um, and what you need to do with your bleed key is use it on this, which is actually called a bleed nipple. You place your radiator key inside here around that tiny valve just there. If you don't have a radiator key, you can see here that you have a small slot which, can, um, which you're able to use with a small flat blade screwdriver. Radiator key in, covering that valve, as you can, you, you feel some resistance as you're doing it. You'll know when the valve is opened, you'll be able to feel, feel the tension from it. And as you open it, if there is air in it, you will hear a hissing sound, which will be the air escaping inside your radiator. It'll be a constant this will keep going until your radiator is full with water. When that stops, water will come out of that valve, so you have to be sharp. As soon as it turns to water, make sure you switch it off quickly. I'd advise when you do this, have a cloth or some tissue or some a wet paper towel or something, just to catch, catch the water as, as it turns from air to water, coming out of your radiator. Um, close it up. Wipe it down, check there's no leaks, and then you should be good to go. And then you'll feel the difference inside your radiator within a few minutes, if not instantaneously.